Have you ever, like, lifted up a rock outside? I don't know if a lot of you spend time outside. Occasionally I go out there. You lift up a rock and you see, like, like bugs, you know, spiders go everywhere or whatever. The bugs, you know, run out, run in all directions. That's kind of what we're seeing right now with Blizzard employees who uh, continue to be exposed for just heinous uh, opinions about men and, and white people. And quite honestly, there's no other word for it uh, to describe it. I mean, it's it's a very frustrating thing. And now people have gone on the attack in, in defense of these opinions. And I want to be very clear. Uh, you know, I agree, you know, Asmongold and I, we've disagreed on things. I still love his content. I enjoy the dude. It'd be awesome to hang out one day. Um, I think he would, you know, probably say similar things about me. Um, you know, we disagree now and again, but it never gets personal. And, uh, in this particular case, I wholeheartedly agree with Asmongold and now he's facing a mild cancellation attempt uh, for calling out what it is. Let me be very, very clear. When you hold opinions about <clears throat> a group of people based on their race, it doesn't matter what race they are, that's racist. If you hold, in particular, negative opinions, but really, in general, opinions about a gender or, you know, a group of men or women, that is sexist. Period. I don't want to hear all these new wave definitions about institutional power. No. Where I'm from, maybe I'm just a country bumpkin, but where I'm from, if you group a color of people together and disparage them, that's bad. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm saying anything bizarre here. But now, there appears to be even more... Uh, even more terrible opinions rolling out. And apparently Asmongold's being blamed for it. You see here last week, gamers on our Asmongold started a campaign of targeted harassment against Blizzard writer Madeline Rowe. They flooded her Twitter, wiki, and fan sites, calling her racist against white men after uh, went after her friends and sent her threats. No evidence provided. Convenient. Uh, you took the time to have screenshots of Asmongold, but you didn't actually provide any evidence of these threats. This is a common, this is a common trope you'll see. Now, can I say for a fact there wasn't? No, but if, you know, if I'm going to make the claim, I've got to prove it. And just so everyone's clear, if anyone's been here for a long amount of time, you know, I disavow. I don't want people f going after someone on Twitter just because I make a video about them. That's not, that's not okay. Um, they then go on to say, they are now targeting other Blizzard authors and contributors. L.L. McKinney, Catherine Vellante, Molly Osterberg, Kami Garcia. I don't know. Sorry for the takes, but I want you to be aware this is happening. Now, going after is simply highlighting some opinions. Let's see McKinney's. This has nothing to do with left or right. White people invented racism before there was a left or a right. No, they didn't. That's a simple fact. If you want to go back um, to the uh, really, really old days, with the Cro Magnon days, uh, there was great fear between, uh, and I don't know if those were people were considered white. Um, I, and anyway, that's a bold statement to make. Anyway, I mean, if you go to Africa, there are, there are certain black. Uh, there, are, I mean, black people are racist against other light-skinned black people. That's that's like a real thing. Um, so anyway, the people responsible for the certain type of to blame. Uh, I'm sorry, the people responsible for the creation of the thing are to blame for it. Period. D white people realizing this and doing something about it is how it gets fixed. Ooh, white people are at it again. Uh, you can see. Other, you know, archives, which I think people are white right to do. Uh, these are all Madeline Rose tweets that we already know. Um, she claimed, the funny thing was, Madeline claimed that these tweets were Photoshopped, but they weren't. They were all 100% real. You can see archives of, congrats, ugly white men. Mad Max Fury Road is now our immediate future. 
Oh, white men, are you sad? Are you impotent? Are you desperate for validation you don't deserve? White people must be stopped. Now, these are all archives, all right? Now, of course, Madeline went on to claim that they were Photoshopped, but of course they were not. Um, and here you see Catherine M. Volante, all archived. Cis, white, straight men are the, quote, free space. Also implies we are not logical. Oh, the quote is, yeah. Um, just so you know, here's another quote. Almost everything positive or cool people associate with America, from music, food, to slang, to dances, to more effective protest, to comedy and fashion, and much more, was invented by black people. Quote, what are you proud of when you say you're proud to be an American? Because it was probably stolen from black America and repackaged as white culture. To be sure, there are a lot of U.S. There's a lot of U.S. culture that doesn't come from black communities. The imperialism and bigotry is pretty white. I mean, these are pretty shocking statements. It's so crazy to me. I feel like feel like I'm taking crazy pills. If you change the word white to black, these people would be hung in the square. So why is it okay to say about white people? Here's Molly Ossertag. In public, I find myself more nervous around white men than I ever have. And another tweet, hate for white men. Cami Garcia, a tweet, discriminating against whites, anti-white. These are not real things, people. Just more examples of white privilege. You literally do it in that sentence. Did you know that the overwhelming majority of homeless people are white men? Is that what you would call white privilege? The overwhelming majority of self-deletions come from white men. Is that what you call privilege? The overwhelming majority of, of uh, deaths on the job are white men. Is that what you call privilege? And I could go on. Meanwhile, Blizz just had an interview with Tech Radar about LGBTQ plus inclusivity, as well as more diverse expansion. All fine for diversity, but doing it by excluding a specific race in itself is anti-diverse and the pure irony. This is a frustrating thing. Like, I love World of Warcraft. I love just everything about it, the community. I'm not even good at it. I just log in and I quest and I fart around, but I love it. Now, I've come around to Final Fantasy XIV online. In fact, I think Final Fantasy does a way better job keeping content up to date thematically when it's the time of year. You know, I remember logging into Final Fantasy like around Halloween last year. I think it was when I was just starting. And there were like jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. I was like, oh, this is so cool. I know that's a small thing, but again, I'm a casual with these MMOs. But nothing really replaces World of Warcraft for me. It's the same thing. Yeah, New World, maybe New World will be awesome. It'll still never be Blizzard. Or it'll still never be World of Warcraft. And that's why I play Classic. Because that even more specifically is a time of Blizzard and World of Warcraft that I remember f fondly. Notice anything about the collection of people that they're targeting. So without saying it, what she's saying is they're only going after women. But what I see here is they're, they're pointing out people with racist ideas, racist opinions. That's what's the same about them. I, I couldn't tell you if Kami Garcia, Kami Garcia is a guy or a girl. I could tell you these opinions are disgusting. Angry men demanding that women get the F out of their fandoms. No, that's not what this is. This is what it's like to be a woman in gaming. No, no, no. This is what it's like to be a racist woman in gaming. Or at least someone that says these type of things, right? They finish up this conversation. But by the way, the streamer video that set off this campaign is still up on Twitch and against Terms of Service. Now, I don't know Twitch Terms of Service like maybe a, a regular Twitch streamer would, but I don't think that this is a violation. I guarantee you Asmogold will not um, endorse brigading this person. I guarantee you Asmogold wouldn't be saying discriminatory things uh, about this person based on their physical attributes. Um, so are you saying that reading tweets are against terms of service? I don't think that's true. Um, so what do we have here? We have another handful of, of, and I don't even care that they're female. It doesn't matter. 
If these were men saying the same things, I make the same video. I have roasted plenty of men who've said similarly outrageous things. What we need to do is get back to a position where we can all agree on the definition of words. And if you're grouping a, a race of people together to disparage it, you're a racist. Period. That's it. Blizzard, you know dang well if they were saying this about black people or Asians that they would be fired in a heartbeat. Now, I would never call for someone's job, but the hypocrisy is real. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.